Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about verb tenses. Let's begin. Verb tenses are divided into three categories. Present tense, past tense, and future tense. Let's dig deep into present tense. Present tense is further divided into four categories. One, present simple. 2. Present Continuous, 3. Present Perfect, and 4. Present Perfect Continuous. First, we have Present Simple. It is used for general truths, habits, and routines. For example, I play basketball. 2. Present Continuous. It is used for actions happening now or in the near future. For example, I am playing basketball. 3. Present Perfect It is used for actions that started in the past and have relevance in the present. For example, I have played basketball. And the last one is Present Perfect Continuous. It is used for actions that started in the past but perhaps have still not finished in the present. For example, I have been playing basketball. Now let's move on to past tenses. Past tenses are also divided into four categories. Past simple, past continuous, past perfect, and past perfect continuous. First, we have past simple. It is used for completed actions in the past. For example, I played. Second is past continuous. It is used for actions that were ongoing in the past. For example, I was playing. Third is past perfect. It is used for actions that occurred before another action in the past. For example, I had played. The last one is Past Perfect Continuous. It is used for actions which started in the past and continued up to another point in the past. For example, I had been playing. The last one is Future Tense. Future Tense is also divided into four categories. One Future Simple, two Future Continuous, third future perfect, and fourth future perfect continuous. Now first is future simple. It is used for predictions and scheduled events in the future. For example, I will live in a city. Second is future continuous. Used for actions that will be ongoing in the future. For example, I will be living in a city. Third is future perfect, used for actions that will be completed before a specific point in the future. For example, I will have lived in a city. The last one is future perfect continuous. It is something that will continue up until a particular event in the future. For example, I will have been living in a city. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more informative content. See you in the next video.